Today, Oliver Benbow White joins the prank patrol. His mission? To cause absolute carnage in a bakery, make a big chef cry like a little baby and blame it all on his good mate, Holly. This is Prank Patrol, where we help people like you pull off the prank of their lives. Here they come, they're on a roll. Well, they'll strike nobody, no. If you have a point to prove, they'll make a plan and see it through. They'll sign you up to join their crew. Party and the ninjas do. Here we go, come on, join the Prank Patrol. Prank Patrol, please recruit me. I want to prank my best mate, Holly. There she is. Never mind. I want to prank her real good, because she always pranks me and I'll show that I'm the best at pranking. Please, please, please pick me. <laughs> Can I have two chocolate glass, please? Is your name Ollie? Yeah. Did you apply to the prank patrol? I did. How would you like to make your dream prank come true? Yeah. You would? Congratulations, mate. That's your pasta prank. Thank you. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I've got that for you. Let's not forget the eclairs. Follow me. Meet Oliver, a fun-loving 11-year-old lad from Rill in North Wales. He has a massive collection of giraffes. Oliver's two dreams in life are to be a celebrity chef or a world-famous fashion designer. So you like giraffes, so I'm guessing you're prepared to stick your neck out. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't funny, was it? Yeah. OK, moving on. Um, tell me about yourself. Well, I like doing silly accents. Such as? Well, I just like, um, you know, that old lady one from Over the Fence, like. Oh, when they're talking over the fence yeah. and gossiping about all the neighbourhood and people yeah. with the funny hair. Have you seen her hair? It's purple. She went oh. in for a ginger one. She come out all purple. It's horrible. Nasty, we can do more of that. I like it. Okay. Um, you've got a favourite hobby? Yeah. What? I like pranking people. Okay. Such as my granddad, and I like baking. You like baking? Baking the, the food or baking the cakes? Baking the cakes. Okay. Did you do that with somebody? Yeah, my gran. She's an expert. She's the best. They're really good, aren't they? They just put stuff in. There's no measuring. It's like yeah. you have a handful of that, a dash of that, and it comes out tasting lovely. Yeah. What sort of stuff do you bake with her? Cookies. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Cookies. Cookies. OK. Um, talk to me more about Holly. Well, Holly is my best mate, and I want to prank her because she, um, when she's not pranking me, she's pranking a mum, and I just think that's wrong because you need to respect your mama, like. Really? Yeah. Um, so she put plastic dog poo in the kitchen. <laughs> And the dogs got the blame, and they had to go out in the cold. Oh, that's unfair on the dogs, isn't it? So really, the dogs should be pranking Holly back, but you're doing it on their behalf. Yeah. OK, then, well, before we find out what it is we're going to do to Holly and how we're going to prank her, let's find out a bit more about her. <laughs> Holly's been playing pranks on Oliver since they were five years old. That means she's owed half a decade of revenge. It's about time that Oliver gave her a bit of her own medicine. So, Ollie, how are we going to give Holly a taste of her own medicine? How are we going to prank her? Well, we both like cooking, we both like baking, so maybe we can get a job in a bakery. A job in a bakery? You've thought about this, haven't you? So you and Holly would both apply for the same job? Yeah. And you'd both get in, so maybe there's like a little interview process there as well. OK, and then what happens? Maybe everything could just go from bad to worse, to even what wronger. You mean, like, so you mean like you've, you've got in there, you're doing your job and there's cake mix all over the place, yeah, machines break down? Yeah, everything goes wrong. Yeah, we can arrange all that, definitely. How about if we have a, a really short sort of a day for her, where everything just goes wrong in, in a really short amount of time, and then the pressure's on from the boss to make a really special cake? Like a wedding cake? A wedding cake would be ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then that even goes wrong. I don't know what we could do with a wedding cake, though. Maybe if me and Holly take it out to the bride and I let go and it falls over she and then... on the bride. Yeah, and then the bride sort of trips over it. I guess it all over her face. Yeah. We need a bride, but we can sort, I'm sure we can sort that out. Brilliant stuff. High five for there, please. So, Holly's going to a bakery. It's all going to go wrong. And to top it all off, she's going to spill a very expensive cake on a very unhappy bride. Yeah. I like it. Let's get to Prank HQ. Ninjas, step on it. Hello fellas, you alright? Hello! Ollie, welcome to Prank HQ. This is where the magic happens. And here are our experts. That's Steve. <laughs> and Lee. Hello. Hi. Ay -ay -ay. So, what would you like them to do? 
I want to prank my mate Holly. I want to get her to work in a bakery. I want everything to go wrong. Do you mean something like crazy machinery and, and lots yeah. of mess? And... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not a problem. We can do that. Yeah, like yeah, cool. not you, OK, cheers, Steve. We can also make a really big wedding cake, can't we? But first, we need to get baking. OK, then. We'll see you later on. Take your positions. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, and while they're yeah. doing that, have a look at another cool recipe. Recipe for a prank. Disgusting donuts. Do you know some people that love donuts a bit too much? Well, why not spice up their lives with today's recipe? All you need is a box of jam filled or creamed donuts. Use a straw to suck out some of the delicious filling and then take some squirty bottles, full of tomato sauce or mustard, and refill your donuts. Next, place your gourmet prank donuts in an easily accessible location for your donut lovers to discover and appreciate. <laughs> bon appetit. Do you know what? I never like donuts anyway, because they've always got a hole in them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, right then. We're going to make some bread, because you're working in a bakery. Yes, so I you am. have to prove your skills, really, before we let you loose in there. So that's what we're going to do right now. And you know how you and Holly normally bake with your nans? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got a bit of a surprise for you, OK? There you go. There are some nans. <laughs> I'm not getting any better. Right then, no. let's get making the bread. What do we need? Flour. Salt. One level teaspoon of sugar. 15 grams of soft margarine. One sachet of easy blend dried yeast. Water. Oh, yes. In the oven. High five. And leave. Yes. Well, that's definitely effective, isn't it? It's going to get hot. Yeah. Lovely. OK, crazy machinery, Steve. What have we got well. for us? OK, first things first, Ooh. we need to put some safety goggles on because this hopefully, hopefully gets messy. OK, but what we got? I think it's either lemon juice, lime juice. Right. Round three. A whole load of that in there. A whole load of milk. Now we need to fill that fairly close to the oh, top. That's quite a strong smell, though. Isn't it? Now, this is going to be a smaller version of uh, what we're going to have in the bakery. <laughs> and this is our special ingredient, hopefully, uh, a bit of bicarb. Do you want to turn this on for me? Yeah. Okay, I'll pour that in. Okay, and I'll turn that on full speed. <laughs> So that's going to happen on a much larger scale. In yes, front of on a much larger scale, and it should just keep going. Beautiful. We've got the flour power, the crazy machinery. Let's yes. go and check on the bread. Well, it certainly smells cooked, Ollie. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. And of course, you can't work in a baker unless you can bake. Yeah. Rule number one. Oh, whoa. Um, that um, might be done. Let me check. Oh, Ollie, what's gone on there, mate? What, what's that? Who do you think's behind that? I think you know. Oh, you might be right. You know. Ninjas! Right, then, let's get this wedding cake made. You OK there, Lee? Do you know what we need? What? We need a professional. How about... Wedding Cake Wendy? Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Hello, Wedding Cake Wendy. Nice to meet you. Um, well, that's it then for you, Lee, yeah? See you later, guys. Nice one. Cheers. So what are we going to do? We're going to swag and bowl this wedding cake and then we're going to put the flowers on and it'll all be ready for you. OK, then, well, I think what we'll do is we'll watch the expert first and then we'll have a go. So now we're going to swag the cake and then we're going to bulb the bottom of the cake. After we bulb the bottom of the cake, we'll start to put the tails on for the bowls. So now we're going to, have to put the cake pillars on, and then this is ready to, for your next year of your wedding cake. <laughs> and we have the bride and groom, please. Yeah, Who's got the bride yeah. and groom? 
Very special bride and groom, I might add. Ninja bride and groom. Very nice. Isn't they great, aren't they? <laughs> right, guys, you two gonna have a go. On your yes, marks, please. get set, oh. go. First things first was the swags, yeah? You're not doing very well here, you two, are you? Not a clue. Always wanted me on cake shop. Well, actually, I wanted me on shop made of cake. I made a proper mess of this one. Come on, Oliver, show him what you made of. Weddings are really emotional, aren't they? Even the cake's in tears. I've gone with a different design. I like to call it different design. Time's passing by, you know, you've not got long left. Come on, Oliver, you should have had entail done by now. Oliver, you're nearly done there now. Yeah, I'm on the bows. I'll help you. We'll do better than him. Hey, that's not fair. Favouritism. Ten seconds left, guys. Finish. Stop what you're doing. Hey, that's not bad, that, you know. Ollie, let's have a look at yours. Yeah, pants. What about this one? Look how it's big you're... It's not your bad, but I think Oliver's doing really well. Ollie's the winner? Yes. Oh, the best man won. How's it going, then, guys? Yeah, really well. That's my cake. That's my tear. That's Wendy's gorgeous thing. That's Ollie's as well. Ollie's is the best, apparently. Um, I think there's just one more thing to do. Is there? What's that? <laughs> Whoops. You're out there. Um... A bit of cream pie. It's a good prank. You're enjoying yourself. Go on, tell me you're enjoying yourself. I'm enjoying myself. Go and get yourself it. cleaned up, you're a mess, man. Right, then. Let's have a look at what your family think about this prank, shall we? You watching, Wendy? Just there. Being Oliver's grandfather, he's learnt all these pranks and mischief from me, the master prankster. And I'm sure that anything that he and Barney cook up in the bakery will be just superb. Right then, we're all set. It's time to get pranking. Are you ready? Yes. Let's you go. Ready? Come on then, let's do it. The blueprint for Oliver's prank is a spewing cream mixer, a sped up conveyor belt, a nightmare boss, a bawling bride, and a finger pointing friend, all adding up to a part time job that's going to make Holly never want to work again. How is Oliver at baking? Well, it's a bit of a sore point, really, because I, I feel, you know, the wedding cake thing I thought went really well for me. You know, I put a bit of effort in, and uh, Ollie won that. So I, I presume, you know, if we're, if we're going by Wendy's standards, then Ollie is fantastic at baking, which helps. When I cake Wendy was really good, and she taught me all I needed to know. She was quite funny as well, and I also think she liked me a bit more than Barney. Oliver's got on really well today. He's got that kind of pranking brain. You know, he knows how things are going to work. And all we've talked about is the reaction. All we're waiting for is how Holly is going to react. I think Holly's reaction will be really good, and I don't know how she's going to react. I think it'll be surprised and shocked, but at the same time, she'll have a laugh. OK, Ollie, it's time to call Holly and get her involved in this prank. So. What's the backstory? What are you going to tell her? I've told that my uncle's firm runs a bakery and I've asked if she wants to come and help out for the, for the day and earn some money. OK, so you're now going to call her and confirm that that's actually happening? Yeah. OK, then, well, good luck. It's time to make the phone call. Hello? Hi, is that Holly? Yeah. Um, is, are you still on for the bakery thing? Yeah, what time are you going to ring me? Um, I don't know, I'll ring you back. I've just got tea, OK? I'll ring you back later. OK, bye. bye. <laughs> that was the quickest phone call in the world, but she's on board. Yeah. She's happy to be doing it. Yeah. All you need to do is give her a call back later and make, make sure she knows what time she's going. Yeah. Are we all set for this? Yeah. You look nervous and scared. Are you OK? Yeah. It's all going to go to plan, don't worry about it. OK. Ninjas, to the bakery, please. So, how will Oliver's best mate Holly react when everything starts to get messy in the bakery? How will she react when she causes a grown man to cry over spilt milk? Will she roll with it or will she crumble? Do. We're here at the Village Bakery in North Wales. It smells gorgeous, doesn't it? It does. If only you had smell of vision you'd love it. Now, this here is Ollie. He's about to prank his Hi. best mate, Holly. How are you feeling? She's moments away from arriving, mate. Nervous and ecstatic, yeah. Look at that for a nervous and ecstatic Ooh. look right there. And listen, there's still plenty more to do. So, come on, ninjas, get cracking. Huh? Oh, no, 
nice work there, Nin. Just what do you reckon to the place? Really good, yeah. Looks really good, doesn't it? Now, listen, one more person you've got to meet before we do mm -hmm. this prank. That's this guy right here. He's called Rob, one of Frank Bajol's top actors. Hello, Barney. Hi, yeah. Hello, Barney. All yeah, right. Good hello, you, Oliver. Hi. So, you're playing Bill today. Oh, hello, Bill. Sorry. I am Bill hello. from Wales. Yeah, used to calling him Bill. That's his name from now on. Obviously, the uh, the role he was meant to play. <laughs> he said the no. role. No. Okay, you like this one. What? Why was the baker skint? I don't know, Barney. Why was the baker skint? Didn't have any dough. It's another word for money. I'll be in my trailer. Oh, come on. That was funny, that one. Do you know what? It's thirsty work trying to make people laugh, isn't it? Just having like a do with a drink, yeah. Oh, you're. <laughs> Ninjas! Take a look at how the prank's gonna work. Ollie is gonna create a load of mess and then blame it on Holly. Yeah. He's gonna do that over there with the big mixer. It's basically a bigger version of the one that Steve showed you. We're all set for that one. Then Holly's gonna move over to the conveyor belt, yeah. where she's gonna decorate some cakes, and then they're gonna come flying off there at a great speed. Can't wait for that bit. And of course, the wedding cake. It's gonna Ooh, smack a certain bride right in the face. Looking forward to that. It's all gonna be covered by our hidden cameras. Yeah. There's one right there. Hello. One over there. One right there. One there, there's one up there, hello. One in the clock, very cool one. And even better, one down there, hello. Let's have a look at what your family think first, though. Good luck, all. You and Barney have worked really hard on this. Hope you get Holly good. Hi, Oliver. I hope this really goes well and you do Wales proud. Pop Hoyle, as we say. Thanks, family. So we're all yep. set. High five. Best of luck. I know you can do this. I'll go yep. get me dress on. The blueprint for Oliver's prank is a spewing cream mixer, a sped-up conveyor belt, a nightmare boss, a bawling bride, and a finger-pointing friend, all adding up to a part-time job that's going to make Holly never want to work again. Uh, do you mind? I'm supposed to see the bride before the big day. Go on, I'll see you in a minute. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm Bill. I'm the baker. Obviously, you know this chap. Um, let's get cracking. We've got such a busy day uh, in stock. Well, I'm really glad you've come in. It's just we've got so many people away on holiday at the moment. We're under staff, so make sure you've got your, your gear on. We'll go through to the main bakery area. So this is the main area here where we do all the, the food and that, and all the hot things, and the range is here. OK, I've just got a few uh, questions. Holly, if you want to grab a seat there, Holly, just make yourself uh, comfortable. A few things we have to do, first of all. A few uh, questions for management and what have you. Right. Now then, uh, Ollie says here you've helped serve food to people like the Beckhams, the cast of uh, mm -hmm. Balamori and the Roonies. Is that right? I have indeed, yeah. That's fantastic. Now, is it, it's your dad, isn't it? He used to he used to run the bakery. Yeah. Yeah. Was that good? Did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got to be honest, guys. I'm absolutely snowed under tonight. You saw how busy it was in the other room. Yeah. So um, yeah, it couldn't have come a better time for you to help out. But I can only pay. Fifteen pounds an hour. Is really? that all right? That is, yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now, um, because uh, for obviously for the baker's uh, baker's code of conduct, I've got a, a little thing that we have to go through. So, um, what I want you to do, if you'll just take one of these each for me, in your right, stand up for me. Okay. Now, in your right hand. Okay. Hold it up, and I want you to repeat after me, nice and high. I like baking cakes all day. I like baking cakes all day. Don't laugh, it's serious, important this. They're so very nice and warm. They're so very nice and warm. Cakes and buns, scones and loaves. Cakes and buns, scones and loaves. We can bake the blooming lot. We can bake the blooming lot. That's it, you're sworn in and don't forget guys, a happy baker is a good baker. All right, now first job, we're going to start off fairly slow tonight just to get you, you into it, but um, is, uh, is kneading the bread. And when we do this, I need you to do this very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That was a joke, love. You can laugh if you. 
think I'm funny here, but you, you, you'll have done this before. You'll have done Jobs are good and bread's in the oven. Now, well, the next bit, do you like cream? Yeah. We love it. I think it might be time to mix things up a little bit. Special ordering, that's Canadian blasting flour. Now, that makes cakes rise so far, but don't go near it. It's about a thousand pounds a bag for one of those. So please don't do that, but this is, this is fine. Okay. Basically, that has got to go in the bowl, don't it? was just warning them about the blasting flower all the way from Canada. Very explosive stuff. Can't wait for that. That's it. Pop it in there. Check everything's fine. Right. And now we just switch that on to mix it up. <laughs> oh, <what's> your... <laughs> How much did you put in? You... Who put all of it in? <laughs> You're not supposed to put... That's supposed to do all night. Look at the mess. Look at the state of this. Oh, it's... Oh, look at it now. Oh, I'm going to get some mops. Oh. Look, just don't... Remember what I said about that stuff. If I don't touch that, all right. Oh, look at the mess. That's going to send us back hours. Oh, 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 What's happened? She <laughs> dared me. <gasps> no, I didn't, Oliver. That's a thousand pounds a bag. Fifteen pounds an hour, that's a thousand pounds. That's gonna come out of my my kids might not be able to eat now because of that. That's a slight exaggeration, but it's expensive stuff. Let's try and let's clean some of this out. It's all going wrong today. Oh, the mess. We're gonna be so far behind. <laughs> No, I didn't, I didn't mean to be angry with you guys. It's just I know he's watching and I'm under so much pressure at the moment to, to make it a bit. So while Rob takes Ollie and Holly out of the bakery, the ninjas are going to swap the baking bread for a burnt one. <laughs> the main thing is that flour, it was a thousand pounds a bag and you've got about 300 quid on your face. And it's supposed to be in the cake. Touch nothing and do exactly as I say from now on. Come on guys, let's do it. We'll do a good job. What's happened? What's happened here? No, how long did you put the, the oven on for? Oh, don't. Oh. <coughs> What's. Oh, Sorry, Big Bill, I didn't put it in. Who put. Oh, Holly. You, you told me to press the temperature. I know, but you're supposed to see if the, I thought you said you worked in your dad's oven. Oh, no. Oh, that's for the special order that's been made with the, with the Canadian flour. Oh, you smell that. Oh, I don't like... You don't like burnt? I don't like it. My customers... Oh, oh what are we going to do? Oh, I said just... Oh, guys, this is turning out so bad. <laughs> Surely you can ice cakes? Yeah. Right, if Holly, I want you... You're basically what will happen in... I'll do it. Yeah, right. Basically, what's going to happen? Come on, mm. it's all going to be fine. The cakes will come through. Yeah. And we'll have a so Ollie, you come round here. Cool. Now, I just want a little squirt, and then you put it in the tray. Whoa. Okay. Now you watch. It's very straightforward. Oh, it's fun. This. It's relaxing. Lots of of, of uh, cream on there. Now imagine you wanted to buy this in the shop. Yeah, How much cream? Quickly, because this isn't going to stop. Nice. Now take it over to the tray. This tray. That's it, guys. That's it. Oh, in the blue tray, but it's fine. It's fine. That's it. Another one. So let's get this straight. Cake comes out, give it a squirt, put it on the tray. Easy. Nothing can go wrong with that, surely. I think, actually, Ollie. Yeah? I think I might get you to help me with the stock room. Okay. Ollie, do you, do you think you can manage this all right? Yeah. Let's go. So, Holly, you'll be fine. See you in a bit, Hal. Oh, no. <laughs> Saw those on the floor. It's going too fast. It wasn't going fast when I left. About fifth. Where did these come from? For me, I couldn't run, keep running because it's not... too fast. You've been picking them up off the floor. No. These are. It's going well fast. I can't believe it. I thought I. I, I thought I'd get everything sorted. It's fine. I'm. I've got so much work to do. I can't believe it. Oliver, stop it. I can't, you can't get the... It's time for the bride to appear and check on her wedding cake. 
I hope it's ready. I can't, you can't get the... Oh. I... Oh. It's, it's, it. it's, it's ready for you. These, I've been they, for half an hour they, out there. These are yours. This, uh, guys, guys, for, no, they're not your buns. Love, they're fine. Kids, kids, leave the buns, leave the buns. They're not your buns, don't, don't worry. And can you carry the... Oh, I'm sorry, love. I, I didn't think security like... Just hold it there. Carry the it's okay, it'll be fine, love. You can put the, the, the bride and groom on. Carry it over to the to the to the table there. Carry it over. It's fine. It's it's a work of art. It's fine. It's fine. Ah! Oh, no! No! I don't mean What have you done to the church? It's all gone wrong. I can't believe. It's okay. It's this we can keep this bit. Oh no! I can't believe what's happened tonight! It's all so wrong. I'm sorry. I'm... Love, I'm so sorry. I've got nothing to say. Oh. I have. Holly, you've just been pranked by the prank patrol. You do, you love it. It's not easy. All right, Holly. Yeah. You have been well and truly pranked by the prank patrol. How do you feel? OK. Do you know what? You've been being watched for ages. We've got cameras everywhere. There's one there, <laughs> one over there. Ollie set you up. Well then, Holly, give us a high five. Woo! Oh, yeah. I thought the prank went amazingly well. Um, I thought everyone went according to plan and Holly was brilliant. The best thing that Holly reacted to was the, uh, the conveyor belt with the buns coming off. I couldn't believe it when the cakes were coming out so fast. I think she thought this is going well and then put her arm over to stop them all and they're piling up. They're very cruel but very, very funny. Baker Bill was very believable. I don't think Holly thought uh, anything was acting or acted out. And his accent was amazing. I think when I started crying, to be honest, I felt, whilst I was laughing inside, I felt a bit sorry for Holly because she looked so concerned about this poor chap who's having a breakdown in his baking factory. I thought the big day was fabulous. Yes, my bouquet turned up on time. The wedding cake was... Sorry? Oh, oh, their big day. Yeah, yeah, the prank was fine. Let's talk more about me. First dance. I think Holly's going to get me back big time for what I did, um, but I'll, get, I'll find another way of getting her back. I'm so going to get Ollie back for this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ollie. We got Holly, and we love it when a prank comes together. Should I do it? Yeah. yeah. Next time on Prank Patrol, our prankster Olivia Fernhead sets out to a safari park to make a monkey out of her best mate Sophie. Will the prank go great, or will she go a... Eh?